Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about printf and scanf built-in function in detail. We will talk about prototype, its return value and about the definition of these two functions. So let's begin. The question arises here is that if I am using any function, it must have some prototype. So where is the prototype of our printf function? Right. So, the prototype of our function, printf function is defined in this header file. Right. That's why we are including this header file because the prototype of our printf and also the scanf function is defined in this file. Okay. This is here is standard header file, standard header file. Right. Similarly, for scanf also. For scanf also, its prototype is defined in this file. Okay. Now, if I am using any built-in function, for example, if I want to use square root function, which is also a built-in function, then I have to include its prototype. So, for it, for this function, the prototype is defined in the math.h header file. Right. So, let's say I am writing here printf of percent %d and then sqrt of 4 right now i am using this built-in function so where is the prototype of this function so the prototype is defined in this math.h file so i have to include this file also so i will write here hash include math.h right so any built-in function which I am using, it must have prototype and the prototype are generally defined in the standard header file. That's why we are including these files, right? Now here square root of 4 will give me 2, okay? Now we know where is the prototype of these functions are defined, which is inside the studio.h file, right? Studio.h file. And we can also open this file and look at its code, right? Now what is the prototype okay what is the prototype of printf and scanf function right prototype is defined inside the studio.h file now for printf the prototype is int then our name of function which is printf then const care asterisk format comma dot 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 okay this is our prototype for printf function and the prototype for scanf function is int scanf const care asterisk again format and comma dot 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 okay this is the prototype for scanf function which is defined in this header file which is studio dot h right and this is a return type of this function return type which is integer for both of this function now this here triple dot is ellipse and this here is the character pointer okay now these are some advanced features which we will talk about in some other videos but that doesn't concern us in this video okay so these two are the prototype for the printf and scanf function now both of these functions are returning us some integer value okay so now let's talk about what printf and scanf function return us now let's first take a look in the return value of printf function our printf function return as the number of characters it is printing okay for example here it is printing five characters h-e-l-l-o which are five characters and it will return us five after printing the hello okay now let's say i write here printf of i percent d then again printf of and i write here let's say okay and that's all okay now what will happen that first of all this this statement will take place okay this is printf okay so first in our output okay will be printed right then what it will return it will return us two why 2? Because the number of characters are 2 here. Okay. Then our statement could be like something printf then high 
परसेंट डी एंड टू राइट देन वट इट विल प्रिंट इट विल प्रिंट एस दिस लाइन विल एग्जीक्यूट एंड इट विल प्रिंट दैन हाई एंड परसेंट डी विथ टू सो इट विल गिव अस हाई ओके हाई टू ओके सिमिलरली इफ आई राइट हेयर न्यू देन परसेंट डी एंड देन वन देन वट विल बी द आउटपुट नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस प्रिंटर विल एग्जीक्यूट सो इट विल प्रिंट एस न्यू न्यू देन परसेंट डी एंड द वैल्यू विल बी रिटर्न हेयर विल बी वन सो न्यू वन and what it will return now now the number of characters are 1 2 3 and this 4 so this will return us 4 here okay then here it will become something like this hi percent d comma 4 okay we can say that and here also it will be same print f okay now what this line will print as hi 4 so it will print as hi 4 okay so why 4 is coming because the number of characters we are printing here are 4 okay new one and these are number of characters are 4 here okay now let's talk about the scanf the scanf function return as the number of input it is taking for example here it is taking two numbers as an input okay so here it will return as two right if it is taking only one input then it will return as one right so number of input it is, it is taking it will return as that okay we can write here something like printf percent d or let's say hi percent d and then after scanf percent d and let's say again percent d and here end of a and end of b right and two parentheses here now first this function will execute so we will give it some input let's say for a i give 4 and then for b i give 5 right now how many inputs i am giving here 2 so it will return us 2 and our after that our statement could be like something hi percent d inside printf okay here printf then it will print us hi and the value is 2 so it will become hi and then 2 so this will be our output here and the point here is that scanf as scanf is returning as the number of input it is taking okay many times these kind of questions are asked in various examination okay now we had talk about its prototype we had talked about its calling this was the calling of our printf function and what it returns but where is the definition of our function right this is this was our calling calling of our function here the prototype was written but there must be some definition of our printf function so where it is defined and how we use it now let's talk about it now the definition of these function are already present in the library files the library files are pre compiled files used in the c programming for example if there is this function printf and i am using and the prototype of this function is written is studio.h then a uh, standard library file will be associated with this function okay and the name of that library file will be studio.lib or we can generally call it studio library studio library what i mean is that let's say the definition of our printf function is something like this const char asterisk format and ellipse okay and then there are some code right which is already written now what happens when i talk about library is that the definition of this function and along with many other functions like the definition of scanf function is already compiled okay and when we compile it a file is generally created with the extension of dot lib right and what will be the name of this file this is generally taken as the name of this header file okay so the name of our file will be studio.lib right so this our definition is already compiled and stored in this library file right along with this a standard object file will also be created right let's say the name of this file will be studio.obj now this file contains the object code of our standard library functions right library functions like printf and scanf 
okay and the object file i mean that specially formatted binary file this is the binary files okay now what happens here is that let's say the name of our file is abc.c now after after the build process what it happen that an object file associated with this file will be created and have the extension as obj sometimes the extension may vary according to the compiler okay so now we have the two files let's say abc.obj and studio.obj then our linker will link these two files and create an executable file with the name abc.exe okay so the linker will combine all the object files which it requires and then create the executable file for a program okay so the point here is that the definition of our printf and scanf function is already given to us in the library files which afterwards become the object files and our linker links these two files and also the other object files to make a program into an executable format okay so the definition is already given to us in the library files and since the definition of our built in functions like printf and scanf are written in the library files these functions printf scanf sqrt and other built in function are also known as the library functions okay library functions or sometime also standard library functions right so if we now sum it up then we can say that the prototype is written in this file studio.h okay here it is written the prototype inside this file for any built in function then we call our functions using writing the name and the arguments right then the definition is written in the standard library standard libraries okay for printf it is written in studio library printfn is for for printfn scanf right and printf return as the number of character it is printing number of character printing and scanf will return as scanf will return as the number of input number of input okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video